It's time for Money Matters. Josh Smith of Strategic Wealth Designers joins us to talk about what this holiday season is going to look like in the midst of a pandemic. Josh, how are retailers and shoppers adjusting right now? Shoppers are adjusting what I would argue is probably the more convenient path, the easier path uh, this year with everything going on in the news. Uh, a lot of shoppers are shifting to more um, online sales uh, to buy those Christmas gifts. You know, it's just much more convenient for many folks as well as they don't have to get ready to go out to go in public and they don't have to have a fear of everything that they hear about on the news. And then online retailers as well, uh, they're expecting a historic shift uh, to online sales this year for this Christmas holiday season. So we do expect some record breaking online sales this holiday season. Now, what about brick and mortar stores? I mean, that's going to be tough on them. What are, you, what are your suggestions for how they should adapt right now? Yeah, so, you know, the companies that are best suited for this type of environment are those who can afford a large online presence. You know, the Amazon, the Walmarts, Target, the Apples of the world. I think who's going to be hurt most negatively this Christmas holiday shopping season are those small brick and mortar mom and pop shops. Um, who can't really afford that huge online presence. So uh, unfortunately for them, hopefully they've done some investing on some um, online shopping uh, here over the last few months, but those are the type of companies that I think are gonna be affected the most. Now let's talk worst case scenario. Do you think that stores are gonna stay open or do you think that we could see more shutdowns? Yeah, I said this for a few weeks. Uh, my biggest fear is if the economy went back to a second uh, wave of shutdowns. Um, you know, we're just, unemployment is record highs right now still. Uh, and we have seen all type of negative economic indicators. Um, there's a wave of foreclosures I hear coming in the housing market. And these are all just uh, repercussions of the first shutdown. So if there would be a second shutdown in our economy here in the Commonwealth, um, I think we would see unprecedented times as far as unemployment, foreclosures, um, and then also unprecedented fiscal times for the state of Kentucky as well. Good information, Josh, as always. Thank you very much. Thank you. For more tips to make your money matter, visit our website, WKYT.com. If there's something you'd like us to discuss, send your request to news at WKYT.com and we'll talk about it here.